Well, hey guys, what is up? What's going on out there today? Brent Abel here, webtennis.com. Another episode of What's the Right Shot? And uh, yeah, this is a really interesting point to me um, in terms of shot choice right here. So nice return, uh, taking the server back out wide. And now there's one shot choice here that I used to try that eventually never really worked. And that was to be thinking you know, down the middle, meaning in between the two players. And the problem with that is the geometry here. The angle just says, well, if you try to, th if you try to go between the two players, uh, number one, it's going to travel uh, in front of that player who's up at net, right? That, that player directly in front of you. That's tricky because if they take one step forward, they're going to pick it off and, and there's no way for you to recover, right? So, but even if it gets past that net player, it's still angling back towards the returner. So I just learned from trial and error, getting burned enough times that unless I've got a ball that's more in the middle of the court, middle of my court, the middle be between those two players is rarely, if ever, uh, available in terms of a, a good shot choice. So the next shot choice is, well, what do we do here? Do we go up the line? Um, and, and yeah, I mean, you, you, you could go up the line, but but what happens if that net player in front of you um, either guesses, anticipates, uh, just just assumes that that's where you're going, and right before you play it, they they start to make a move over there? Yeah, well then well then you definitely have got a problem, right? Because now they've got the ball, you're still stuck in the alley, and you know your court is wide open, right? So to me, the only available shot choice is to play uh, an underspin backhand back cross court. Um, and really my target for this is to play it somewhat slow and low so that you've got time to recover, right? You've got time to be able to get back in the middle after you play this shot. So you don't want to hit it too quickly, um, but at least you get the ball back in front of your partner. And, and, and now that takes that part of the court away from the returner. And they essentially have to play their shot back to you, right? Maybe there's a lob in there, but that's okay. Um, that'll work out. That'll work out for them as well as a possibility. Now, maybe the other shot here that you've got as a server is a little lob over that net player in front of you. That's always a possibility as well. well let's see what happens here. And so, I mean, outside of the double sideline, right? So you better hope, if you're going to go up the line with this, that that, that net player in front of you um, is thinking cross-court. And now you're the net player. You've got this volley. Obviously, you've got this wide open right between the two serving team players over here. You've also got a lob available to you, a little, little tricky lob um, into the cross-court, into the deuce side. But if you're really skilled, you can get your racket head around the outside corner of the ball and you don't need to add any power. You don't need to add anything here. You actually just need to kind of absorb the ball and just redirect it. All you're doing is redirecting. You're actually borrowing pace, right? You're not having to add anything. But the disguise here is insane because... The serving team's got no idea what you're about to do. And, and there you have it. It's pretty simple. Pretty simple. And look, I mean, obviously these are top guys in the, in the world, in their age group, and they make it look easy. Um, Bruce Nichols, who just played this volley, <laughs> you know, guy played in the tour for several years. Uh, won the NCAA doubles back in the day. Won a couple of... Uh, ATP doubles titles back in the day. And so makes it look easy. Makes it look easy. What's the takeaway? Well, the takeaway, I think, is a couple things today. Let me go back. And, and what I'm going to tell you is shot choice here. When you're serving and you get pulled out wide, go back cross court. Just do it, right? You don't need to be the hero going up the line um, maybe you're anticipating that that net player in front of you um, is thinking smartly like you are, which is, oh, well, he's going to go back cross court. So 
I'm going to leave my alley open and look for something I can pick off. Okay, but just take this thing back cross court every time, every stinking time. And the next thing here is racket prep on the volley. Have it prepped so early. I mean, literally have it prepped where you're, you're waiting behind the point of contact, the eventual point of contact. You're just waiting there. It's not taken way back behind you. It's not way out in front. You're just comfortably allowing it to get into the string bed and redirecting. There you have it. All right, guys, I'm going to play this point in real time and then slow motion for you, but we'd love to read any comments um, you've got, any kind of uh, feedback, questions, and uh, let me know right, right down below. Uh, love to read and respond to your stuff. As always, this time we got to get out there. we got to help someone else have a great day. Guys, see you again next time. Really hope today's episode was helpful for you. If so, please click that like button on YouTube. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell as well. So you are always alerted every time I go live and or upload new content. And yeah, if you've not picked up my course yet, 20 minute private video on the four parts between points routine, you got to get on this thing. It's a huge difference maker in your game. 80% of the time when we're playing a match, guess what? We're not playing points. That time is spent between points and on side changes. And when you manage that time really well, you tend to consistently play the other 20% of the match, which is, yeah, during the points, you tend to play at the very top of your skill level, point after point after point. Go on over to webtennis.com, drop in a first name, email address, and you'll get immediate access to that private free video on my very specific four parts between points routine.